You know, it's kind of crazy because like you hear a lot of people, uh, their skating is based off what they watched growing up. And I've always been curious, what videos inspired you? Like the very first videos, and then when you started watching skate videos, did you switch from favorite skater to another favorite skater to another? Because I know I did. Like, who was your first official favorite skater? My first official favorite skater, wow. There's a lot of them. I want to say my first favorite, favorite skateboarder is the goat of all goats, P-Rod. He's still my favorite skater. I know that's everyone's favorite skater. But I remember specifically when he switched trade Santa Monica triple set. He had the freshest Nike SB on. They were like the P-Rod, I don't know. They were like threes or something, but they were white and black. Y'all could go look at the, look at the coverage. They were white and black. I was in like seventh grade or sixth grade. I told my mom, mom, I have to have these shoes. Like I gotta have them. And I talked to her for so long. And I honestly never even got those shoes. <laughs> I got like some super colorful ones that were kind of cheaper. But they were P-Rods, man, and I got blessed with them, and they lasted me all summer. I'll never forget it. They lasted me all summer, a whole summer. I skated the same exact shoe. But it's, what's more crazy is that switch tray was for a commercial, I know. and it's had such a big impact on you. That, that, that I think that's insane. With Ice Cube and everyone rolling up. Yeah. If you guys remember that commercial, that's one of the, they should bring it back, honestly. That's one of the craziest hardest commercials i think even kobe's in it honestly like that's a legendary commercial nike should run it back and chop it honestly <laughs> that's nuts yeah that, that's a gnarly commercial. how about yours who was your favorite rodney mullen all right i i'm, I'm not and I, it makes full circle because like he's one of the first people that i saw doing also like uh finger flips and oh. like all these crazy tricks and i was just thinking to myself when and i only the reason I was exposed to Rodney Mullen was because of Tony Hawk's Underground 1. And Tony Hawk's Underground had like these little uh, one minute videos of street skating with every skater, like in the game, like, you uh -huh. know, like you try to unlock them. And I remember I'd, I watched his and it was the one that stood out the most. Obvious, I feel like it stands out the most because so much things are going on. He's actually doing stuff similar to the game where like you do grind in, flip <laughs> out and all these like, Remo's yeah, yeah. And, that. and you're, you're obviously, you're like, okay, this guy's on the level of the video <laughs> game. And all the, all these other guys in there aren't even doing that. So I was like, all right, whatever. Like he's the best. And, and as time went by, I learned more about skating. Like my first skate video was foundation. That's life. That's a sick one. The ones that got captured my attention were Leo, Leo Romero, of course. and Corey Duffel. Woo! I remember Corey Duffel tried to 5-0 this, uh, it looked like a 15, and he just went straight to his elbow. And he just, he's just like, oh. And he, get, he gets back up and, I mean, in the video it looks like he just went back and did it. I was like, this guy is insane. Corey Duffel is the man. <laughs> yeah, he, and a Bay Area legend. Shout out Corey. Yeah, shout out Corey Duffel. Even to this day, he is still one of the gnarliest guys. Like, but as time went on, I was like, all right, Leo. I kept seeing more of Leo Romero, and I wanted to see more and more. And I just was attracted how he, he approaches handrails. And then I learned about Spanky, Woo. then Reynolds, Baker Three. I started watching Baker Three. Shout out Baker 3, you literally changed the way I approach skateboarding. Like, I just started wanting to do so much gaps and like, <laughs> it, it was the craziest thing. Like, bro, like Reynolds part, he fronts up flips over a handrail for his intro. He does. And then it's like a five minute cinema video. Like that was the first, like at the time, it was 2006 for me. So watching his part was the longest part I ever seen. And then Jim Greco, Switch fronts, I flip Wilshire, all in, in now it got back threed into, it got kick flipped into, but Jim Greco ollied into the car wash, like the, the bank, that the crazy first one. Person. You know who I'm talking yeah, about. The first person. He, he, it's so insane that he, it wasn't even like the end or anything. It was just in his, casually in his part. And it made me think, this guy's a psycho back in the day, <laughs> like in a good way, not like, it made me want to just do things. And when I would go and like look at nine stairs, I, I would think, well, Reynolds is doing it. Well, these guys are doing it. If they can do it, I can do it. And then I learned about P-Rod. Bro, 
P Rot in bloom. <laughs> P Rot, yeah, right? When I watched, yeah, right? There's so much things I was like, dude, there's too many favorite skaters. Then I learned about Nigel before Nigel was big. It was, this is my element. Yo, I had that one. I, I, was, that one. I was so upset with myself because, and keep in mind, like, this is my mentality back then. Like, this is like me barely learning about skating. I was thinking to myself, he looks, he looked like a kid. And I was thinking, I'm so mad at myself that this guy is jumping down so, like, these big handrails, he's grinding them, he's jumping off these big stairs, and it looks like he's fearless. And I was just telling myself, if this guy's doing it, he's a kid, I, there's no, I have no excuse. So, like, I would watch these videos to, like, pull the motor, like, pull motivation out of myself, feel inspired, and I'd just go. And I'd be at spots, like, for hours and hours, screaming, yelling, like mad at myself, like I, I'm pretty sure if you've been afraid and you roll up to a spot and like you can't for like you can't commit, you you don't you're not you're, like you want to do it, but your body's not allowing you to do it. That's what I was going through most of the time. I feel that. If you ever see me scream or slam my board, that's that's when you know there's real fear, and I'm just oh, I just gotta let it out, and then I'm gonna try to send it. That's that's the key to. Letting it out, I always have to scream before or something. I have to do something, slam the board or something. I, I did it when I was skating this three block, honestly. But yeah, over time, uh, I started choosing like other skaters that I really liked to watch because I feel like during that period of time, it was ba mainly based like, oh, this guy jumps down stairs. Oh, this guy jumps down handrails. And sad as to say, but the song really mattered while watching a part. If I didn't like the song, I ain't watching the part, which is really a bad habit I had in the beginning. Now I go back and I'm like, dang, this guy had a really good video part, but the song was eh. And I was like, I'll watch it anyways. But it doesn't matter like the song. I really have to watch the skating. Awesome. So a lot of the influences I had were that reason. Like I skate a lot of Switch because of P-Rod. Literally P-Rod, motivated me to learn how to nollie back heel, switch heel, switch flip. And then there's another one, Josh Hawkins from Happy Medium. Oh my gosh, Happy Medium 2, it next level. Like that whole video, Jaws part, his song, like it all just went perfectly. It was like a masterpiece to me. So I would always watch these videos over and over and over. This before like YouTube had all these video parts that it has now. So. Uh, some of these videos wouldn't be on there, so I had to get the DVDs. But when it comes to favorite skater, the one that still like I love watching to this day is Leo Romero, uh, Mark Suchu, Reynolds for sure. And then there, there's been more people that just keep coming up, and I just want to see more of them. But who's your top three? Those three? Those are fire. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Leo. My my top three favorite skaters. I'm gonna start with my first favorite skater, Miles Silva. Shout out Miles. Shout out Adidas 002s. Please redrop them. I'm just saying one day, leave in the comments below. I know there's a lot of questions asked on what kind of shoes I skate. Adidas, shout out Adidas. One day you could reach out, but Miles Silva is my favorite skater from style to everything. He's the GOAT. Every part he drops, absolutely insane. King of pinch, king of everything, king of drip. Ah, oh, can never say enough words about Miles. My second, I'll have to go with Mark Susu too, the Bay Area legend. When I was a kid, I used to go to the skate park. When I was a super kid, like probably like 13, my first, first started skating. We used to go to Sunnyvale, we would always see Mark Susu there killing it, just going crazy. And I'd always think like, dang, how is he doing all that? Like, he's just a little bit older than me. Like, he's just a little bit taller than me. And I'd always just be mind blown. But Mark Susu is a different level of animal. It's crazy. Shout out Mark Susu though, Bay Area legend. I always looked up to him in his old, old parts. If you ever watch him, he's doing hard flip, back tails, backside flips, and all kinds of crazy stuff. <sighs> And my third one would have to be Brian Herman. Shout out Brian Herman. Stay gold. 
I skated like two miles when that video dropped. <laughs> Literally, I skated from my house all the way to the mall. Me and my best friend skated all the way to Zoomies, to like literally four miles, because it's like two miles there, two miles back. Skated all the way to the mall. I had like eight bucks, my friend had eight bucks, and it was like $15, we dropped it. We literally got it, skated all the way home, called all our friends, and we had a movie night, but it was a skating night. There was like five of us, my five good friends. We all bonded up, got our hot Cheetos, our popcorn, and we watched Stay Gold. And ever since that video dropped, my life has completely changed from the outlook of skating to everything. Brian Herman started off only skating over picnic tables. That was literally one of the gnarliest stuff. And then he just goes on a whole different path of destroying everything in sight from rails to stairs to manuals. Man, I love, I literally love Brian Herman. He's so sick. When I met him in real life, he's even sicker in real life, man. Shout out Brian Herman. One day you could come here or something. <laughs> I know. That's what I was going to say. When State Gold dropped, Everyone like that was in, like in high school, they dipped on their eighth period. I bought the DVD, had like a, a little premiere. We were all like blown away. Like that's the power of uh, skate videos. Like, so if anyone that's just beginning or doesn't really know anything about skate videos, literally on the internet right now, <laughs> YouTube, you, you, there's so many good videos and what they do to you, they literally inspire you. They start, help, they, they, it's like a guide. Uh, I want to say like a blueprint of an idea of how to form videos like street style like I'm pretty sure a lot of people know but they're they're really good and motivating you and wanting to make you go skate in a different style of way that's why street skating is powerful and yeah pretty much and honestly one more other video the real video shout out the real video shout out deluxe shout out real crook at all of them those were all my heroes growing up. I, I really looked up, honestly, how could I forget? Dennis Busnitz, king of SF, king of speed. I love Dennis Busnitz. I just wanted to say that. And Dennis Busnitz is a great person. Maybe one day Dennis Busnitz could come shred the Burrow house. <laughs> That'd be amazing. The real video though is another great video if you ever want to watch that. I grew up watching that too. Me and my friends, Skated to the same exact mall and bought that same exact DVD. We probably took the bus or something though. I don't know if we skated for that one. That was such a good video though. You ever watch that video? The real video? Yeah. Dude, that's a shot? <laughs> that's, when, that's when a shot is really coming up and he's just going crazy. I yeah, mean, like three songs or something like that. I can't even say. Dang, there's so many good skaters out there. There was an intro for his part. And I thought that was like it. I was like, when's his name going to pop up? Boom. Hold huh. on. Dude, that was it. It made me feel like... That was just throwaway, and this here oh. goes the good stuff. I used to only want to skate real boards after I watched that. Literally, only real boards. Real was like the sickest brand. Still is one of the sickest brands, honestly. I love real. Shout out real skateboards for being real. <laughs> yeah, shout out Leo Romero for getting Skater of the Year 2010. Stay gold. He changed the game, 50-50 up a handrail, like a, a legit handrail, he 50 50 up a eight stair. I remember thinking, this is it. <laughs> Skating ain't the same. It was, that <laughs> video completely did change the whole game of everything. Brian Herman had a whole part skating over tables. He did switch and nolly tricks and fakie tricks over picnic tables. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally one of the gnarliest videos. If you ever want to get motivated, go check out Brian Herman's Stay Gold part. It's insane. I agree. Those are some of mine and Mowgli's favorite skateboarders. There's been a couple questions asked. So we made a video on who helps us grow with skating and who we influence by. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's videos right to the left. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, maybe there'll be a star appearance by a pro skater.